Hi guys, welcome to The Witcher. I'm going to do a few um, guides for the beasts and the animals and creatures that you come across. This one is about the cockatrice. Um, now it's uh, something you can find on a mission here at the uh, the crow's put. And uh, he shows, uh, shows you that it's a Witcher contract. The contract is for the Shrieker. Now this thing has been terrorizing the village nearby. So uh, once you've found that, you'll find it on the notice board, I think, or, or from uh, one of the characters. I can't remember exactly when. But you will find it. It's a pretty low level one um, as a contract, but this is all about the beast and how we take on uh, the cockatrice itself. So it's a double up in this video where I'm going to show you one of the, uh, the, the side quests to actually hunt this thing down. Uh, follow the path to this area and you'll suddenly come across these tracks. They will lead you uh, to the entrance to this cave here. Uh, once you go in the cave, um, you'll be t it's not a very uh, deep cave or anything. You just go down and you can't find this thing, but you can find a load of bones and stuff. And what you'll notice if you use your uh, your Witcher senses, it's hiding up there on the ledge. You can't see it, you can't attack it from there. So as he says, a bomb should smoke it out. So you have to go into the bestry and have a look to see exactly what it's vulnerable to. So let's have a look down here. It's under the uh, the Draconids um, and the Cockatrice here. It shows you it's vulnerable to the Grape Shot Bomb. Um, also the Draconid Oil and the Ard Sign, which is the Telekinetic Blast. Um, it says also watch out for its beak and long tail, but I know it's uh, it's a beast of many, many talents. Uh, so there's a couple of other things you need to do. So make sure you arm, arm your Telekinetic Blast, you've got the bomb, so go down. If you if you created it, if you've probably got one of the two bombs you can use, uh, create it and add it to your, your class. Use it, um, Grape Shot, that's what it's called, there we go. So throw it up into the into the ledge there, and you will flush him out, basically. He's buggered off now, he's, he's flying away from the cave, so you need to get out. Um, get on your horse and chase it down, basically. There it is. See, there it is, where I can't see it. It's uh, right it's up there in the sky. You can just see the shadow going across the screen. It shows you how big this thing is. Definitely a hell of a lot bigger than you. Um, so follow it on the horse, um, catch up with it, and then you'll go into this battle mode. If I can just get out the water here. Okay, so very important that you use the right sign here. If you've got the right oil and you've crafted it, use that, put it on your weapon, it will, it will do more damage um, to your enemy. Now, here we go. So make sure you've got the, uh, the grape shot there, but the Ard sign is your best friend here. Now, when you when you attack it with the, um, the Ard sign, it will sort of stun it. When it's on the ground, it stuns it. If you attack it when it's in the air, it will ground it. It will bring it to the ground. It sort of collapses. So there you go, hit it with the yard sign, and it, it remains there, kind of still and motionless. You can, as quickly as you can, get up close to it and uh, hit it with a couple of fast attacks or maybe a special attack, uh, sorry, a uh, slower attack, a heavy attack, whatever it's called. Um, and it, it, it get it on the ground. That's where you can fight it, it's where you can uh, do the most damage. Watch out. Okay, now, as the bestry guide tells you, watch out for its uh, sharp beak and its tail. Um, but I have to be honest, I think the, the thing that worries me the most about this enemy is actually its wings. So when you're in front of it, it does these leap attacks. It can launch quite quickly across the ground at you. There you go. So uh, uh, using the, the skill to bring him down to the ground, um, that doesn't stun him, but it does bring him out of the air. If you hit him while he's on the ground, that will stun him, and it sort of keeps him silent for a while. So we've already got um, half his health. There you go. So that sort of stuns him. Spot on, and watch out for those wing strikes. They are very, very powerful. And if you're uh, level, I'm on my level eight. Um, there you go. It will take a lot of take a lot of your health down. So again, just for safety's sake, make sure you've got enough food, water, and um, whatever you need just to recover. Um, but you can back away now. The other thing with this um, this enemy, the cockatrice, is uh, the dodge button, which is probably the recommended uh, tactic for taking any any creature on. You can't really move fast enough away from it when it's coming at you uh, using the dodge. The, it uses its wings to attack far too quickly for you to do that, so you have to roll in a way. Um, even though that takes a bit of stamina out, uh, it's, it's the only way to get away from it really very, very quickly. So I took a fair bit of damage doing this, but um, again, use the Ard sign. Make sure you hit him with your, your telekinetic blast. That will stun him on the ground, um, and then you can go in for a couple of shots. You could probably do this quite slowly um, with, a, with, a, with a steady method doing it this way, um, but I was a little bit more hungry for it, so I was going and getting, taking a bit of damage, which is why I'm taking a bit of water on board just to try and recover some health as well. Um, but there we go, it's nearly done. Uh, I think, yeah, he just flies up into the air right now, so I just got one more hit, I think. One more thing I can get him, but he's gone off, so I've just got to bring him down to the ground once more. 
Just waiting for uh, the right moment. Ah, oh, messed up. So I've got to wait for my uh, ARD sign to recharge. They see at the top left the yellow bars just moving up. Nearly, nearly fully recharged now. There we go. Let's get him down on the ground. One last hit. There we go. Job done. So we've managed to kill the cockatrice. So that is uh, a, a method of doing it. You can use the bombs, of course. And if you have the right oil, then please apply that to, uh, to your sword as well. And the loot you got, um, um, the monster eye, the stomach, the egg. Uh, you get a mutagen from this guy and he had an axe on him as well. But most of all, you get another trophy. Now the trophy you can attach to your horse. Uh, this one I think gives you, uh, was it 10% chance to uh, dismember your enemy. So that means you'll chop his head or his arm off as you, if you're attacking him. Uh, which is always cool. Very, very nice animation to watch. So yeah, get this guy. Get the trophy, go claim your reward if you've done it um, via uh, the quest that I've showed you at the beginning, um, or just enjoy enjoy the kill. I'm going to bring a few more videos of different beasts that I've come across, how I've managed to kill them, and uh, what I believe the best tactic to be. Uh, a couple of tricks, tips on the way. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did stick around for more, please uh, leave a comment down below, and remember to hit the like button, that would be fantastic. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't done so already. I will be back soon with more from The Witcher 3, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, good night.